All right, guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we doing today? We're going to carve for the beginner a uh, simple little uh, wizard. Yeah, we're going to make a little wizard. Okay, all this is is a piece of inch and a quarter poplar dowel rod. That uh, it's a piece off of one of the walking sticks that I make or made. And I figured, well, I got this little piece here. Let's uh, do just a quick little easy wizard guy. Okay, so first thing to do is pick out center line, draw it in, just like that. Okay, then uh, we put in the bottom of his hat right there. So we know where that's going to be. And you can make your hat as tall or short as you like. Okay. Uh, this one happens to be two inches long from there to there. Then I come down a quarter, a healthy quarter of an inch so that we're going to have some room for some uh, eyebrows. Draw our, just draw our nose in a little bit wide because you know we're going to narrow it down as it moves along here. Get the uh, flares of the nostril or the point of your nose drawn in. Try to make these the same length. And then we just rough in a mustache. Probably won't be the way it is, but we're just going to rough it in there. Just draw it in. Okay, so we're going to start out with our Dremel 4000 with this uh, saber tooth burr. Uh, elongated flame burr thing. I like this because it's pointy. So that's going to allow us to get right down in there and cut those eyes in, right? Or the, yeah, like that on both sides. And then we'll come back and we'll cut this nose under the nose like that. And then we'll come back and we'll cut this mustache in like that. Okay, so let's fire up the noisemakers and uh, let's get started once more. Dremel 4000 with a flex shaft. And the uh, saber tooth elongated burr in green. And we'll probably switch over to our dusty micro motor here. And we're probably going to end up using, uh, oh, something. Probably going to end up coming in with a, our flame burr carbide aluminum cutter type bit here so we'll have to switch into our 332nd collet this works good on these little guys for getting in there and doing the eyes and uh, all that good stuff okay so we'll set that off to the side first we're going to start out with this dremel and this is going to be for the very beginner we're not getting super detailed we might not even put eyes in we might just do that cut deep up and under thing okay so let's start off by uh, cutting this hat down all right all right all righty then let's start rounding this hat down to make it a pointy little hat for this guy we're using this saber tooth uh, green burr which is about their uh, I guess it's their coarse their coarse burr and this is going to take a while. Even though we're running uh, in time lapse, we're at uh, two and a half times normal speed. And just going to cut some deep grooves in here to get rid of some bulk material. And get it shaped up a little bit. Get that all taken care of. Get it whittled down there. Cut another groove in there. Maybe we'll just make this guy, we'll make this wizard with a twist. We'll give him a twisted hat. Yeah, that way I don't got to take off so much wood. And bore you guys to death. So you can see we just put some twist lines in it, like a drill bit, basically. Uh, and we're going to hollow that out. And we'll run it right up to a point. Fun, fun, fun. 
using the Dremel 4000 with the uh, saber tooth burr here, the elongated flame burr, elongated. It's been uh, starting to warm up here in Michigan. We uh, today is uh, Sunday. Yesterday it made it up to 60 degrees. Today it's supposed to make it up to like uh, 45, I think the weather said. You see Sean Brooks over there down. Uh, Sean Brooks, uh, pin on fire and wood carving. Making some uh, cottonwood bark wood spirits there. Down in, uh, I think he said he's in Missouri. Misery. Now we're cutting around for the hat. The bottom side of the hat. Could always swoop it so it makes it look like it's leaning backwards a little bit. But I didn't do that on this one because this is going to just be a basic wood spirit. Basic wizard. Basic wizard. Wood's hat. Now we switched over to the micro motor. And we're just undercutting that hat with that little carbide uh, flame burr. Undercutting the hat a little bit. I'm gonna take that burr out, and we're going with the cut saw course. This is a silver flame burr cut saw course. And we'll just uh, cut that forehead back a little bit so it goes up underneath the hat. And we're using this coarse burr to smooth out some of the uh, tool lines from that uh, saber tooth cutter. Saber tooth burr. Uh, it's like, you know, it's pretty, it's got, it's kind of like that cuts all with the pointy, pointy points on it. So they dig in deep to the wood. And so I'm just going back over it with the coarse cuts all football burr to smooth it out a little bit. Yep. See, Jordy Johnson's up there on Vancouver Island looking for Bigfoot. He's searching all the woods up there on Vancouver Island. Beautiful place, Vancouver Island. And you see, we're just working those, uh, those cut lines in deeper because we want to bring that hat to a point. Kind of reminds me of one of them uh, soft serve ice creams you get. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the wizard of ice cream. Yeah. The wizard of ice cream. That's what it kind of looks like, don't it? You got a tornado hat. Get that all smoothed out and cut down. Then we'll get into the face. I'm sorry it took so long on the hat. We're going to have to redraw that face on because we got rid of our, our uh, where our eyebrows and our, our nose is going to be. Okay, there we go. We'll draw it back on. It's pretty windy out there today. Put our center line back in. It's blowing like uh, 35 miles an hour out there. Now we've gone back to our Dremel with the Sabertooth elongated flame burr. Um, on these small guys, I like using these uh, elongated flame burrs just because they've got that really long nose on them. A uh, regular cut saw, a cut saw burr, uh, I believe would have made everything, it, it's a lot more blunt, more round on the end. Would have uh, really opened everything up too much and left too many uh, radiuses, radii, radiuses, round things. So... We're go I'm going with this uh, saber tooth burr with the uh, elongated point. I wish Cutsaw would make one. A longer elongated flame burr like this in the uh, in their course. I guess I could use the uh, the taper burr. Cutsaw makes a nice taper burr that's got a I like the the fine the gold because it's uh, more more pointy. Uh, so, yeah, I could I could have been using the taper burr, but uh, the thing with using these flame burrs is because they got they get wider at the top, so you get to use uh, different areas of the flame burr for wood removal. See how you use the fatter part of the flame burr to uh, 
for uh, some bulk removal there on the sides. The nose of it does get most of the work out though, but it's nice to have it have that flame burr shape uh, to use the belly of it for removal removing a lot of wood quick. Now we're undercutting the mustachio. We'll give him a, a long longer mustache here. This is just going to be a basic guy, so we're not going to put any eyes in him. We're just going to do a, a little undercut up underneath the eyebrow. And um, we're cutting the temple in there. Always bring the up there by your eyebrows. Always bring your temples in to give it more of that, that head shape. But, you know, this is a fantasy piece. Um, you know, so you can do it however you want. If you like having a nice round face, don't, do, don't cut the temples in. Uh, I, I just recently figured out how to do that, so I figured I'd show you guys. Right? So now we're going to round over the nose and uh, get where the up underneath the eyebrows there. Get that all cut in. Just having fun. Goofing around, uh, you know, on a Sunday. Sunday fun day, people. Sunday fun day. Everybody's working for the weekend. Yep, working for the weekend. Okay, so now we put a ruby burr in. Um, I have not been able to find ruby burrs on Amazon or eBay. So I buy these ruby burrs from a place called mountainwoodcarvers.com. And ruby burrs are not cheap. Nope, these are like uh, anywhere, depending on the size you get, they go from like $8 to $15. Depending on what size you want. Uh, this size here I think was like uh, 10 bucks. But the, the bonus thing with the Ruby Burrs is they outlast the uh, cheap Diamond Burrs that you get from Amazon. Uh, like 3 to 1. You know, these are they're just a better burr. And you know the old story, you get what you pay for. But uh, yeah, hey, believe me, I've got plenty of those... Uh, those packs of packs of ten used to be able to buy them at Harbor Freight for like eight bucks. Now they're probably ten because of uh, all the inflation and everything that's going on, and gas prices are going nuts. You know, you guys, it's terrible. It's terrible out there. Um, yeah, yeah. I went to the gas station the other day. Gas was uh, four oh nine, four dollars and nine cents a gallon. For a quarter of a tank in my truck, which is 10 gallons, you know, it was $40 to uh, just put 10 gallons in. And believe me, that truck don't go far on 10 gallons, guys. They, they don't. So it looks like Just Car Rob is going to be uh, staying home a lot uh, until we get a gas price break or, or something. Something's got to give here. I mean... Uh, there is no animal hunting in the summertime, so uh, it's a good thing I'm within uh, a mile of the lake, so I can at least get walk down there and go fishing. You know, take uh, take the quad down there. That quad, uh, I can put a gallon of gas in that quad, and I think it'll go a hundred miles. It's uh, I've got an old Honda four wheel drive quad. And that thing is just awesome on gas. And I've, I've got a, I think it's a 2003 Polaris Trail. Uh, no, it, yeah, it's a Polaris. Uh, it was the first year they came out with the four-stroke engine. Polaris has used to always be two-stroke. You know, you had to mix the gas and the oil. And then they came out with the uh, four-stroke 350. I think it's a 350 or a 390. Uh four stroke and that thing goes forever on a tank of gas that one's two wheel drive so that will use less gas because my old honda that i used to plow snow with uh is four wheel drive all the time you don't have uh, like the newer ones you got you, you can select whether you want four wheel drive or two wheel drive or whatever but uh, i can't afford to spend no frig no uh, eight grand on a on a toy you know so we just got the old, the old one works fine. I always, I change the oil in it every spring. And, uh, I think I need to put a new clutch pack in it. I think the clutch is slipping a little bit in it, but 
other than that, uh, it runs great. So, we are feathering everything back here, as you can tell. Get it all feathered down. And uh, the shop inspector likes riding in the cart. I got a little wagon I pull behind it on my quad, you know. And she likes riding in that. I, got, I put her a little, I got a little dog bed in there. And she'd sleep, lays it. She don't sleep in it, but she sits in there and she we go for a ride around the yard. And, and she, she enjoys it, so. Now you can see we're kind of framing the face in. We're giving them some hair. And we're uh, smoothing all of that, the rough marks out that the uh, other other burrs put in. And you can see these guys, these little guys, especially when they're little like this. Because remember, this, this stick is only an inch and a quarter in diameter, right? So, we got to cut his, uh, the wings of his nose, his nostrils in. Got to cut them in there. And we're doing that with that diamond burr, or not diamond burr, I'm sorry, ruby burr. Um, ruby burrs are not great for material removal. They do remove material. And this is a, one of the finer, finer ruby burrs as far as the uh, grit goes. It's probably along the lines of uh, like 180 grit. So it, it's a finer one. It works really well for uh, sanding out these little guys' faces. But I have to sit there with a little tiny piece of sandpaper and trying to get in there. I mean, you can you can really get go into high high sand mode with these, uh, but I don't. I just smooth them out with the uh, ruby burr and voila, that's it. So see, we're getting his his cheekies cut in there, his cheekbones all cut in. Rounding over, still rounding over the nose, getting the corners of the eyes cut in deeper. So this guy's still set up. If you want to put real eyes in him, he's still set up for it. But uh, I'm just doing a little up and under cutting there with that ruby burr. And getting it all smoothed out. And we left him some hair up there under his hat. Uh, I don't think we're going to put a mouth in him. We're just going to put the beard hairs in. And what we have here is a diamond, inverted cone burr. I thought I got a tighter shot of that. An inverted cone burr. Uh, this one's pretty wore out, so it's not doing such a great job at uh, cut. It's, it's just putting surface cuts in. So we're going to change that out, and we're going to go with our uh, inverted uh, this is a metal working burr. The aluminum ones work better. They have bigger flutes in them. You can see it did a little burn mark there. Um, this is the metal working burr. It's a lot less aggressive. I mean, it works really good on metal. Uh, and it works okay on wood when they're new. This is one of those uh, ones you get in a pack of 10 for 20 bucks on Amazon. And we're just cutting in all the hairs. Get all those hairs cut in there. This is just your basic wizard, guys. Nothing fancy about them. Just a basic wizard. And you can see we're overlapping the hairs and crisscrossing the hairs and all that good stuff like that. And uh, can, to get different depths of hair, you push a little harder. Uh, and then you can go back over it light to put more hair in and go deep to put Give it some uh, depth. You know what I'm saying? Give it some depth. And you can see I just run it. This is the other great thing about that inverted cone burr. You can use it to kind of back cut along your beard to make it stand out from the wood a little bit better. I use this particular technique when I'm doing leaves or trees or uh, animals on a walking stick. Or when you're carving your gun stock, you can do the same deal just by... Uh, using the side corner of the inverted cone burr to do the undercutting. Now we're just going to put some straight hair on his back there, down the back. And then we'll switch over to a needle diamond. Because uh, you got to remember, the radius of this tool is only going to allow you to get so close. 
And if you really want to put in the detail, you're going to have to use something with a, a tiny needle point to uh, cut more hair in. So that's what he's looking like. I got my, uh, this a skew. Just the cheap skew that I picked up. I think it's made by Stanley. Okay, there is the needle diamond burr. And you can see we're putting some depth into his hair right there. Where it comes across the top of his head, up by the forehead. Just putting a little detail in there. And now we're cutting the hairs in the eyebrows. Into the eyebrows there. Yep. And we'll give that a little bit. We're just cutting them in there. Cutting them down on an angle. Uh, we're sharpening up the lines around the nostrils. Like that. And now I'm undercutting the hat to give the hat a little separation from the head. And sharpening up that line down there by the nose. Share, subscribe, and like, guys. That's about it for this one. We'll cut the nostrils in. And we will catch you guys on the next one. All right? All right. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. And Jordy, I hope you see Bigfoot up there, uh, Vancouver Island. Bye-bye.